All right, uh, it's Doug and Dave back again. So this is uh, basically the, the part where we're gonna walk through each of the settings pages. So um, when you install the, uh, what we're gonna call the UAT theme, um, there's some setup to be done. And these videos are gonna make it really super simple to set this up and have a really nice looking Amazon affiliate site. Dave? All right, so. Um, so the ultimate Amazon theme, UAT, is uh, a little bit more complex than your average WordPress theme, but that's also what gives the theme its power. So we have a handful of different settings pages, and if you hover over the ultimate Amazon link in your admin menu, you'll see about eight or nine different pages there. So we'll just go walk through each one of them real quickly just to give you a brief overview of what the page does, and then in another video we'll delve in a little deeper and explain some of these settings in detail. So first, if we go to the first link, Ultimate Azon, this is your general settings page. So um, on this page here, it's just a few general settings for the theme, like you can turn on and off a setup guide here. Um, there's different admin tips that are displayed above certain fields throughout different parts of WordPress when you're using this theme. So if, if you're new to the theme, I recommend leaving this on, but once you know what you're doing, you can turn that off to get those little displays to disappear. Um, and then here's where you can set your logo. Um, it starts out with just a basic text logo right here. And as you can see, we're set to a text logo. So you can set some basic things like your font color, font size, and you can set the font size for large, medium, and small screen so it displays correctly on different screen sizes. And then there's a bunch of different fonts you can choose that are Google fonts here that you can use too. And then if you would like, you can also choose image logo, uploaded logo. You'll see the ultimate Azon theme logo in there, but you can upload any logo or choose anything that's already in your media library right there. Um, you can go ahead and add a tagline there, change the font styles of that, and then you can upload a custom favicon right here if you would like. And then at the very bottom of the theme, you'll see this built-in Amazon disclaimer down here. Um, this is where you manage that, and you can just copy your own website name right into here. And this is the default Amazon affiliate disclaimer that's required by Amazon to be at the bottom of every Amazon affiliate site. Um, and then that's about it for this page. So next we'll come into preset theme styles. Um, so part of the point of UAT is to be able to set up an Amazon site very quickly um, once you know how to use the theme. It does take a little bit longer to grasp once you're setting up your first one. But for example, I can upload this theme and set up a whole new, you know, set everything up in probably under 10 minutes since I'm familiar with the theme. Um, so what I did was I provided you with 10 different preset theme styles here. So if you choose one of them and go ahead and activate it, just gives you a warning that if you had made custom changes, it's going to override them right now. Um, so if we just try out another one real quick here, and then we come over to our front end of our website and refresh the browser, you'll see that there's a whole new theme installed just like that. So what I usually recommend is starting with one of these preset theme styles, and then you'll be able to go into the next section, Styles. This is going to auto set everything you for you and then you can change what you want in the next page and after you change everything you can actually come back here type in a name for it and save the exact settings as your own preset so you have your UAT presets up here and you can save any number of them you want down here as well um, so next we'll go to the styles page so this is where you can tweak and play with most of the different styles of the ultimate Azon theme so uh, to save time I'm not going to go through everything here but there's different styles for the main background here. Um, you know, you can use background images, you can use a plain color, you can use a gradient. You can change the color of the main content area. And then you can also set all your body font styles, like all your headings, your paragraph text, your link colors, the navigation colors, um, the sidebar colors, the color of the links and the widgets. Um, the color of the fonts and the background for the footer styles and then down below so you can really tweak the theme to display optimally on mobile and tablets um, you can choose different font sizes and line heights for the main elements like heading one heading two heading three the nav bar um, the footer so it's pretty straightforward if you just go through that and take a look at everything and then view the front end you can see what all of the changes are um, so next we have the custom code option and this is for those of you that want to add some extra CSS to 
to the theme or if you want to override some of the CSS in the theme with your own, you can paste it in here. Or also if you have any other kind of uh, JavaScripts you want to link to, you can paste them in here. And so if you post any custom CSS in here, when you update the theme, when a new update's available, this is stored in the database, so it's not going to override anything you set in here yourself. Um, and sometimes when people contact me in support and want to do something with the theme that isn't really doable by default, I can usually come up with a little bit of custom CSS, tell them to drop it in here, and it solves the problem for them. Um, so next we'll go to products, and this is going to be one of the main areas that we're going to do a video on how to set up. Um, and this is basically where you set up your product review type. Um, so as you can see over in the left right here right now, you'll see something called main products. Well, you can name that um, something of your own choosing, like cordless drills or camping tents, whatever you would like. And then there's also some different custom product specifications you can add in here. So we'll come back to this one here. Um, next is the top product slider and table styles, and this also applies to the drag and drop tool. Um, so this is basically where you just set the colors, fonts, what kind of links you want to display on the interactive sliders, sortable tables, and drag and drop tools. Um, and it works just like the other settings page, but it's specifically for that feature since that's one of the main features of the theme. Um, so the next option is SEO options. So if we come in there, um, there's a few real, very basic um, SEO options in here if you don't want too much. So if you leave this turned on, basically it'll give you a meta title, a metal description, and you can choose whether the page is index follow, no index, no follow, and so forth. Um, but if you're going to use Yoast SEO, which is what I actually usually use on my own websites, you can just turn this off right here, and then it'll take those fields away, and you can use whatever SEO plugin you prefer. Um, but I wanted to add this in in case people don't want to use a full SEO plugin. There's a few basic fields that you could use. Um, GTM Analytics, this is for the Google Tag Manager or the Google Analytics. So you have three choices on this page. Um, if you choose third-party analytics plugin, um, this won't add any kind of analytics to it, and you can use any plugin you wish, like Yoast or any uh, Google you know, Analyticator, anything else you want. Um, and then what most people will probably want to do is input their standard Google Analytics tracking code. So if you don't want to use a different plugin, you can just paste your tracking code right in here, and it will add it to the header of all of your pages. And then if you would like to get a little bit more advanced, um, you can use the Google Tag Manager. And that's something you have to set up with the free Google Tag Manager program. Um, and it gets a little bit more complex, and I will eventually be doing a video series on that. Um, so you can paste in your uh, Google container ID in here and connect your analytics that way. But that gets a little in-depth, so that's for another video. Um, so Amazon link localization. Um, so I have built in here a basic Amazon uh, affiliate link localization similar to that in Easy Azon. Um, so basically, you can input your ID for all of these links, and if you have it turned on, it will serve the correct Amazon link. Um, for the country you're in. And basically how it works is if you're in a different country than the original link was put in and you click that link, it's going to go to the correct Amazon website. Look for a product with the exact same number and if it finds it, it'll serve that page to your visitor. If it can't find that, it'll do a search for that product and then it'll take the visitor to a search page for that product. Just in case the item number is different, they'll still be able to find that product or similar ones very easily. Um, and then one more point is if you are using the Easy Azon plugin along with this, I recommend just leaving this off and using the built in localization with that plugin would work best. Um, now we have a setup guide right here. So this is the basic built in documentation. Um, it's the getting started guide. So you can always refer to here. And the first section is for setting it up on a fresh WordPress install, which is what we're going through today. And then down below, it's a little more complicated, but if you're going to be converting over an existing website to the Ultimate Azon theme, here's the directions on how to do that as well. And I'm always standing by to offer support as well if you just log into the support forum with the information you got when you signed up, and I will help you out with anything you need. 
Um, and the last page we've already visited, which is the license and support page, which, um, let's see, yep, there's also a link here to get to the support forum. So um, that's your quick overview of all the basic setting pages of the Ultimate Azon theme.